Hello everyone. Welcome to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to configure Azure Active Directory multi-factor authentication settings using Azure Active Directory Admin Center. To customize the end user experience for Azure Active Directory multi-factor authentication, you can configure options for settings like account lockout thresholds or how to block unblock user account. Some settings are available directly in the Azure portal for Azure Active Directory and some are in a separate Azure Active Directory multi-factor authentication portal. In this video, we will look at account lockout settings and block or unblock user account settings. Let's sign into the Azure Active Directory portal using an account with global administrator permissions. You can access Azure Active Directory portal using the URL https colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com. On Azure Active Directory portal, click on Azure Active Directory. We are using the user account with global administrator role to perform the steps. Under Manage, click on Security. Under the Manage menu, select Multi-Factor Authentication. We will be on Multi-Factor Authentication Getting Started page. To prevent repeated Multi-Factor Authentication attempts as a part of an attack, the Account Lockout settings let you specify how many failed attempts to allow before the account becomes locked out for a period of time. To configure Account Lockout settings, click on Account Lockout under Settings section. Here we can see the message that this feature only applies to users who enter a PIN to authenticate. Under Number of MFA Denials to trigger Account Lockout, enter the values for your environment. Here I'm going to enter the value 3. Then after, you need to enter the value for minutes until account lockout counter is reset. Here I'm going to specify 10 minutes. So within a 10 minutes, if three fail attempt are there, then you need to lock the account. And here you can specify the minute until your user account is automatically unblocked. Here I'm going to specify 60 minutes. You can specify this value as per your organization's requirement. After entering the values for account lockout settings, click on save to save the changes. Here we can see the confirmation message, successfully updated settings for account lockout. Next, if a user's device is lost or stolen, you can block Azure Active Directory multi-factor authentication attempts for the associated user account. Any Azure Active Directory multi-factor authentication attempts for block users are automatically denied. Users remain blocked for 90 days from the time that you are blocked. To block a user account, click on Block Unblock Users. Select Add to block a user account. Click on Add plus icon. Enter the username for the block user in the format of username at domain name. So let me enter the username, a user1 at msftwebcaster.onmicrosoft.com. This is the username of our test user1. Then provide a comment in the reason box. Here I am writing just for testing purpose. Select OK to block the user account. We can see the confirmation message successfully block user1 at msftwebcaster.onmicrosoft.com And under block users, you can see the username is listed there. Uh, here's the reason and this is the date. And from this page, you can also unblock the existing block user account. Now in our case, we can see user1 is already blocked and to unblock this user, we simply need to click on unblock under action. So let's click on unblock link to unblock our user1. 
then you also need to provide the reason for manually unblocking the user account. Let me again type just for a taste purpose. Okay. Let's click on OK to unblock our user taste user 1. We can see the confirmation message that successfully unblock our user user 1. And under block users, now we can see no results message. Since we have successfully unblocked our user 1, there is no user which is currently blocked. Next, let's talk about the fraud alert feature. The fraud alert feature lets users report fraudulent attempts to access their resources. When an unknown and suspicious multi-factor authentication prompt is received, user can report the fraud attempt by using the Microsoft Authenticator app or through their phone. So in the settings, click on fraud alert. First, let's allow users to submit fraud alerts by toggling the value to yes. So under allow users to submit fraud alerts, by default it is off. So I'm going to turn this value to on. Okay, if user reports fraud, the Azure Active Directory multi-factor authentication attempts for the user account are blocked for 90 days or until an administrator unblocks the user account. An administrator can review sign-ins by using the sign-in report and take appropriate action to prevent future fraud. An administrator can then unblock the user account. When users receive a phone call to perform multi-factor authentication, they normally press has to confirm their sign-in. To report fraud, the user enters a code before pressing has and this code is zero by default. But you can customize it and that you can see here. Code to report fraud, you need to press zero to report fraud attempt. We can see uh, automatically block users who report fraud is set to on. That means when a user report fraud attempt, that user account will be disabled for 90 days. At the top bar, click on save to save the changes. We can see the confirmation message successfully updated as settings. You can also configure Azure Active Directory to send email notifications when users report fraud alerts. These notifications are typically sent to identity administrators because the user account credentials are likely compromised. Under settings, click on notifications. And here, enter the email address to send the notification to. Here, I have specified the email address of a global administrator, Manhir Rakulia, which is mwadmin at msaptivwebcaster.onmicrosoft.com. If you want to specify another email address, then you can specify it here. At top bar, select save to save the changes. We get the confirmation message, successfully updated the notification list. And suppose if you want to remove existing email address from the notification, you just need to click on this delete icon to delete that email address from receiving notification regarding fraud alert. So that concludes the video on how to configure Azure Active Directory multi-factor authentication settings using Azure Active Directory Admin Center. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.